and the only things in my box were tissue paper bathing soap and lotion for real i'm not messing with you guys two weeks after we have opened school Woo! Welcome to my channel today. So thank you so much for clicking and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So today I'm doing the Kenyan boarding school tag. Yeah, let's get started. First question, how many years did you spend in boarding school? Four years. That was in form one, form two, form three and four. What is your most memorable punishment in form one? So I was just uh, walking. To class early in the morning you know i hadn't finished the homework i was going to finish the assignment before uh the teacher comes in and the, unfortunately the matron was standing by the hall and she she, she she spotted me and called me and she's like why haven't you tucked in your shirt in the chance i'm a payment she's like hitting me i'm like what i'm so sorry you know so i'm like okay let me tuck it in you know then i'm trying to walk away she's like i'm like oh my gosh are you serious so I started picking the papers up. So I picked the papers up. And when I think I'm done, she's like, Ujafanya kazi mzuri. Ena naisa, you know, she's like, oh man. So I just picked the papers. And the bell rang and it was late. And it's crazy. Like, she messed me up. The teacher came to class and I hadn't finished the assignment. And after leaving with the matron's punishment, I went to be punished by the teacher again for not doing the assignment. Third question, what are the items you had in your box during starvation weeks? <laughs> Let me tell you, my starvation week started two weeks after we opened school. Because you're from home and your body is used from the home food, good food. So you come to school and you're like, eh, watch how do I eat this good food? Yani, the snacks and the food you carried. So I used to eat the food for like two weeks straight. Breakfast, lunch, supper. Breakfast, lunch, supper. By the time about two weeks are over, maybe even less, I'm calling home. I'm like, hey, I need money. And they're like, what you mean? Like, you went to school like two weeks ago. We gave you shopping. We did shopping for you and we gave you pocket money. Now you're calling us, you need more money. Are you crazy? Eh, so I'm going to Then they'd say, I will send you like after two weeks. Hey, man. And the only things in my box were tissue paper bathing soap and lotion for real i'm not messing with you guys two weeks after we have opened school when other boxes in major snacks me i'm like empty with tissue paper and lotion we had a school rule okay our school didn't have this weird rules and everything like you'd carry everything you want every snack you want and uh yeah your parents will visit you almost any day which was cool but the only weird thing that we didn't like is the fact that we had to go to class on Sundays in the afternoon, like you've come from church, you go eat your meal, then you go to class. That was insane, man. Like it's during your weekend mode, you know, that mode. Weekend mode, you even still digesting what the pastor preached, but you find that you have to go to class. Eh. Uh, we didn't like that, like that was crazy. Guys only went to class just to tell stories and sleep. The person I will never forget. Zuhura and Miriam, those are my like, best friends. And uh, yeah, Zuhura was my Muslim friend. It was amazing. We used to sleep in the same cube. Where you spot her, I'm also there or I'm not far away. I'm probably behind or in front of her if you spot her. And if you spot me, she's probably in front or behind me if she's not with me. It was crazy. Miriam was like amazing. Like we connected and we just kicked off. Like we had a very special connection up to date. And I just love you girls, man. The weirdest thing I did in high school was uh, not showering, but I did not showering. I like I'm weird. Like the whole of form one, first term and part of second term, I was like showering maybe twice or once a week. Cause first, first of all, I was afraid of showering with cold water. But I love for, you know those rumors that high school couples can't do their red palms or walking everywhere. You see, but when there's no one. Eh. So me, I'd rather not go to the bathroom. After you hear such stories, what do you expect me to do? Just go to the bathroom and shower. So I used to wake up at 5. When no one is watching, I go with the dog, I go, 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 I
just waste time then come back after about 10 minutes and guys will think you've showered the other weird thing i used to do since i was head girl when i'm lazy and i don't feel like staying in class or going for crepes i used to walk from class to class and they like from one had like was it seven or five streams single so like um hey is everything okay any prefects are you okay what's disturbing you nini, nini. i finish with this class and move to the next one same thing for two hours before you know it the bell has rung and guys are going to the to the dorm my favorite teacher was my class teacher he was called um mr was it opio kondo or something the teacher used to be smart smartly dressed perfect english he was actually the english teacher and the class teacher and then you are with him in form three and form four as a class teacher so he just got used to him and yeah he was a really cool teacher he understood the class and everything yeah and then he used to teach set books until you get it like it just goes through you don't even struggle the swahili teacher he was a funny character he, he would always come to class drunk always and then on Monday morning, his lesson was the first one. So you'd expect him to walk inside the, the door, inside the room with a wound on his face or something on his body, mostly on his face. And it's swollen or it's bleeding. So he just goes out, he drinks, gets so drunk, probably gets into a fight, falls down or gets hit and comes to class the same morning looking the way he did. Like, that man was crazy. And it's like his skin had gotten used to it because... He will come on Friday, uh, he will come on Monday, beaten up, like bleeding, literally. By the time it's Friday, he's flawless, he looks flawless, it's healed, he, he looks okay. Monday, he comes again with a wound, and then he's drunk, and then he's just, and he's just lazing around. And then, because he's drunk, he didn't want to teach Kiswahili anyway, he wanted us to read set books. My worst teacher was the chemistry teacher. I didn't understand anything he used to say. Me used to see darkness, yeah, and he see kubaya. So that teacher... He used to ask me questions and he knows very well i don't know why would he do that just to embarrass me will you take your kids to boarding school no i wouldn't take my kids to boarding school because i was bullied in form one by these three girls and uh yeah it was hard for me because it was a new experience going to high school i didn't have anyone to go and tell in the evening so from kindergarten day school primary day school high school day school campus day school unless they want otherwise the worst food in our school. Okay, our school wasn't that bad. Ama, maybe it's because I was head girl. I was eating teacher's food. Yeah. But also, the other food, it wasn't that bad. What was bad is the tea. It was tasting like egg. And you don't take egg in school. So you wonder, where has that taste come from, surely? And then, kuna vibiriti ya pondani, nyuele, ujuni nyuele ya nini? Ya wapi? So until now, I stopped taking tea with meal. Best school trip or best funky. Um, the owner of our school was an Indian. He was actually a really good Indian. He was a good Indian, and he took he invited us to the daughter's wedding, an Indian wedding. I don't know if it was an Indian wedding. I'm inquiring or a show or Hindi. Food was superb. Chapule or Hindi, curly but tamu at the same time. You know what I'm trying to say. And yeah, it was a beautiful experience because I had never gone to an Indian wedding before. Another awesome place or trip I went was with my class. Just as a class, we planned to go out with our class teacher. And we went to a castle in Akuru. I forget the name. It was amazing. I think for the first time as a class, we just bonded together. Good school club were you in? I was in like three. I was in drama club. I was in debate club. Something union looking out for the interest of east african east african interest or something so what i used to do depending on the club that is on fire i'd move according to that like if the, this event this club has something going on i'll be there if the other club has something going on i'll be there i'm seeing younger live on the club moja if you're in many clubs just leave a comment below and give a video a thumbs up best thing about my high school was the uniforms have you seen the uniforms? Shana's girls have the best uniform in Kenya. Hands down. Like hands down. Even my cut agrees. So yeah. If you're in Shana's girls and you agree with that point, leave a comment below and give the video a thumbs up. If you're not in Shana's girls and you know it's true also, just leave a comment. Just give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> then another thing is 
we respected ourselves. There was just this respect, you know, silent respect, like that the people had for each other. The other thing is they didn't have so many rules. You know, this too many rules. Your parent can't come and see you. You can't. You can only carry these snacks. Your pocket money must be this amount. Nope. The school was like a dream school. Me, I'm telling you, Shaina's Girls is everything, man. If you're looking for school to go to, go to Shaina's Girls High School. The other question, the worst thing about your high school, uh, the worst thing that I can think of is that it was far from home, for reals. That's the only bad thing about the, sh the school. It's like in Akuru. Final question, if you will turn back time, would you go back to the same school? I wouldn't want to go anywhere else because of the people I met, the lessons I learned, the person I have become today was hugely contributed by the school. I will go back to Shaina's Girls High School. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.